once we have diagnosed that uh, the patient the person has a CSF leak then it uh, becomes important to stop it now when we decide to stop it it becomes again very important to know where is it leaking from where do I go and stop it from so usually the leak is from the anterior skull base and we need to localize the site. So how do we localize it? We normally localize it with a test called CT cisternography in which a dye is injected into the subarachnoid space and then the patient is made to lie prone inside the CT scan and we try to uh, let the CSF flow out. So when somebody lies prone, the possibility of the CSF again leaking out to the same site is more. We let it leak out and then CT scan is obtained at the same time. And then we see the dye popping out of the skull. We are able to take pictures of the same and then finally we are able to diagnose the exact site from where the CSF is leaking. And once we've managed to localize the site of the leak, the next logical step would be to go in and seal that leak. And we usually do that with an endoscopic approach. Transnasal endoscopic surgery is done and the cerebrospinal fluid leak site is again identified intraoperatively and it is sealed. And once the seal is achieved, the CSF leak is stopped, the risk of the patient getting meningitis in the future completely comes down.